I've noticed over the years a lot of car reviewers tend to showcase the automobile they're reviewing in some exotic location, maybe a beach resort or some incredible vista in the background. But we don't think our viewers need to be pampered that way. We'd rather show you the brand new 2018 BMW X3 out in the real world. It's been redesigned for this third generation and it's all-wheel drive with available M mode for the first time this year, which is absolutely, well, incredible. The X3 comes in three body styles. You have the X line, which is a more rugged exterior. Then you have the luxury edition, which is, well, more luxurious. And then you have the M line, which is new for 2018 for the X3. And it is monstrously powerful. The X3 comes in two models, the 30i, which comes with a 2.0 liter, four cylinder, 16 valve dual overhead sequential twin turbo powered engine generating 248 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. But the M40i, oh, this has the 3.0 liter, six cylinder twin power turbo generating 355 horsepower 369 pound feet of massive torque it is a joy to behold this is actually the first year the x3 has been offered in the m line and what the m does is basically give you enhanced aerodynamics you also have a shadow line trim that accentuates the vehicle nicely Plus, you have the M exhaust system, which is amazing. An M adaptive suspension system, as well as the M brakes to help stop this monster. Plus, you have M badging everywhere, as well as some cool X badging, too. In the front, you have the classic kidney grills. Plus, underneath, you have the active air vents, which will enhance the aerodynamics of the vehicle at higher speeds and cool the engine at lower speeds. You can't help but appreciate the beauty of the LED daytime running lights as well as the headlights and available fog lights as well. Plus, as you come around here, you do have these gorgeous air vents right here, which, uh, they're fake. Sorry, they're just for appearance purposes. What can I say? It's a little bit longer and wider than previous editions. Plus, you have such nice touches as, well, a light carpet, which comes in handy. Especially, oh, it's going away. Ah, 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 come back, come back. It'll come back. Anyway, uh, as you come around the side, you can notice that we do have these gorgeous 20-inch rims. And, of course, your beautifully accented M brakes back here. And you have staggered tire size so that you're going to have better grip and better performance than ever before. You have an 8-inch ground clearance, which is wonderful, especially because all of the X3s this year are all-wheel drive. Gives you a tremendous amount of versatility in all driving conditions. And you have, on the M model, you have these black gloss roof rails, which are nice looking as well as functional. And as you come to the rear of the vehicle, you have your integrated spoiler, LED brake lights, and in the back, monster exhausts, especially with that sport exhaust system on the M. And you also have a trailering hitch, and you can haul up to 4,400 pounds. Plus, there's lots of room on the inside for cargo. Let me show you. Come here, check it out. You have 28.7 cubic feet of cargo space with your cargo cover right there. And you have adjustable tie downs so you can move them up and down the rails at your convenience, which are very nice. Plus, when you hit this button, your privacy cover comes out. You pop up the rear, has its own enhancement cargo area back there, a little hidden area, and then you can put this, and I down here, it fits, isn't it great? With a pop of a button, you pull it out, you have additional space for extra cargo and a place to store your privacy cover and that's nice 12 volt power source little hook it's got everything well the back seats 
nice and firm mm -hmm. with room for three, even though the person in the center, like all mid-sized luxury SUVs, you know, is going to pretty much be straddling the hump. But you do have excellent headroom all the way front to back, plus with the panoramic moonroof. Oh, man, it is beautiful back here. And at nighttime, day or night, it is absolutely gorgeous. You have this ambient light strip on top and bottom and of course you do have the uh, ability to recline just a little bit back here so for taller people that's good plenty of foot room underneath the front seats there and you also have a nice pass-through if you have just two passengers back here and some long items you want to take with you it's pretty good pretty nice i think you'll like it Ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd bring a special guest along today. It's Maximus Aurelius Stupidicus, better known as Maxi. I thought who better to enjoy the ride in a magnificently engineered German machine than a Schnauzer. Oh, it's How's the visibility, Maxi? Pretty good? It's great. He loves the dual sport mirrors and the commanding view of the road, right? You can see everything. SUVs are great for that. Now, not only do I have a head-up display, but he's got a head-up display. <laughs> get it? Head up? Yeah, sadly we get it. All right, I'm gonna change lanes. Nothing over there, anything over there, Max? Nope. Nope. Good. He's sort of a lane change assist. In case there's a car there, he'll bark at the car, uh, right? Yeah. How do you like the interior? It's pretty nice, isn't it? You have your eight-speed. Uh, Shiftronic automatic transmission with sport shift. Do you want to shift it? Do you want to shift it? You could. No. No? No. You have your iDrive system here. Touch control. A twist to turn a toggle. It's all at your fingertips there, Maxi. My what? You have your cup holders here. You have a wireless charging device. That's good for your Apple CarPlay. Right there. Look at that wood trim. A gorgeous, gorgeous wood trim there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Of course it is. BMWs are known for their luxurious interiors. Hey, Maxie, check out the 10.2-inch touchscreen here. Look at that. Or paw. You could paw it. <laughs> you could just paw it. Get it? Uh-huh. Paws. Yeah. Dogs have paws. Yeah. Let's see. Any cars over there, Maxie? Nope. We have our lane change assist, uh, blind spot detection, backup camera, 360 camera. It's great, isn't it? Don't forget the available driver assistance package, premium package, executive package, dynamic handling package, parking assistance package, convenience package, M Sport package, dog assistance package. <laughs> I just came up with that one. <laughs> Good boy. How's it feel? Pretty smooth? Uh, yeah. Pretty nice. Yep. <sighs> yeah. You could just about, you know, cruise all day in this car, couldn't you? The double pivot front strut suspension and five link independent rear suspension does a nice job. Especially with the drive mode select feature and standard all wheel drive. Now we're going to try out the acceleration. Maximum acceleration, right, Maxim? Zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Top speed, 155 miles per hour with the M40i. That'll throw you back in your seat, won't it? Yeah. Wow. I didn't think the X3 came with massaging seats. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, yeah, he's excited. Yeah, but I'm also tired. Can you take me home so I can take a nap, please? I've got to tell you, the 2018 BMW X3 looks awesome in a crowd. It really does.
I'm always amazed when you're at a stoplight and then all of a sudden you just step on it when it turns green and how quickly those cars fall back behind you. <laughs> They're weaving back there. When you need responsiveness, you don't have to press down hard and you don't have to press down far. It jets you to where you need to be. Every time I look at the head-up display, I got to smile because I'm going way too fast. You don't feel it. This is a very weighty vehicle, and the engine is so responsive with the 3.0 liter six. Being all-wheel drive as well, giving you the road hugging ability in all sorts of weather. And of course, you can pick from your sport mode, where the instrumentation glows red, to the comfort mode, which it pretty much is the default. And then you can go to the eco mode, which is a beautiful blue hue. I don't know why it's not green like everybody else's econ mode, but it looks very lovely. Especially day or, or night. All of the illumination from the digital instrumentation is just pleasing to the eye. You have the beautiful ambient lighting around the doors to give you that touch of class. Sport mode. <laughs> wow. That was great. Oh my gosh. I like sport. Yeah. Hey. You can really feel it tighten up, and that's nice. The throttle response, the exhaust note, the shift pattern. <laughs> it's a lot more fun. Now, as far as fuel economy is concerned, the two liter four cylinder gets 22 miles per gallon approximately around town. 29 on the highway for a combined of 27. But when you step up to the 3 liter 6 like we're in today in the M edition, then you will get 20 miles per gallon around town, 27 on the highway approximately for a combined of about 25. And that's pretty good. If you want to maximize your fuel efficiency, turn your auto start stop button on so that it'll deactivate the engine at stop signs and stop lights. And then you can put it in eco mode right there like I'm doing right now. So we're driving very fuel efficiently now. Thank you. And this eight speed really does a nice job with the shift tronic. Ugh, we're racing to a red light again. Golly day. That sucks. All right. <laughs> Auto start stop feature. It's off. It's on that quick. Sorry, I'm in a slow lane behind a slow car which really isn't the place for an M edition. And I know this is, well, let's call it a modified M edition. It's not really down and dirty M uh, like, like BMW is traditionally known for, but it certainly does do an amazing job to enhance the performance of this incredible SUV. It really does. It really is nice to be able to reach everything easily with this huge screen center console, stereo systems, controls, very tactile. Same thing with your air conditioning unit. You have tri-zone air conditioning. And the digital screen with your, you know, TFT speedometer and tachometer over there. You got all your gauging and even a clock dead center. The standard stereo is a 12-speaker, 205-watt system. Then you can also step up to the Harman Kardon system like we have now, which has 16 speakers and amazing power. Just amazing. And you even have uh, ba -ba 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 -bam gesture control available, and I think I have it on this one. Let's find out. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. <laughs> Okay, that's a bad song. Okay, I don't like that song. Never mind. Anyway, gesture control works. Yeah. Oh, and oh yeah. Um, you got room for people and cargo in the back. I forgot. Yeah, you do. Four trim packages available. You have the base simplicity level. Then you have the convenience, if you just want a few more features, nice options to add to it that are convenient. Then you have the premium package where you really step up your game. And of course, the top of the line executive package. 
with all of the fun money can buy. And if you have the money, buy it. This is one vehicle I bet you'll be sold on in the first 10 minutes of driving it. That's how long it took me to suddenly realize this is an incredible machine. It really is. The drivability, the performance, the power, the comfort, um, the technology, it's easier to use than ever before. I'm not a complicated guy. Anything that you can simplify, I'm all for it. And you have all of this with the all-wheel drive configuration. And if you want the four-cylinder, you got it. You want the six in the M, you got that too. I think it's a, a winning combination. You have to check out the new 2018 BMW X3. You have to. X3, even better. The M40i X3 is definitely ahead of the competition by far. Drive it. You'll see what I mean. You have to. <laughs>